Hi, I wanted to welcome you to tonight's episode of The Experience. We're so glad that you're here with us tonight. If you would go ahead before we get started and like this video, subscribe to our channel, like our Facebook page, that would mean the world to us. Um, that shows us that you support what we're doing. And it will also ensure that you do not miss a future episode or season of The Experience. Tonight, we will hear a short message from Pastor Kimberly. Afterwards, we will have a few discussion questions. Now, these questions will not be graded. You can answer them. You can share your responses to them if you'd like in the discussion group that's linked in the description box, or you can share them in the comment below, or you don't have to share them at all. We really just offer those so that you can do some reflecting and thinking and have some opportunities for personal growth. So I hope you enjoyed tonight's message and I will see you afterwards. Hi, today I'm joining you from the bottom of this old bank barn that's probably 150 years old or so. It belonged to my dad and it's now where we house our horses in the wintertime or in the summertime during storms and so forth. And as we gather, I'm down here this morning feeding them. So you're probably going to hear some rustling in the background, but I just wanted to share with you a little bit about peace. Um, it's not very often that I get to come to the barn by myself. Um, but this morning I kind of jumped on that opportunity as the kids headed off to school and Doug was off to the farm to do his things. And it was just kind of nice to come here and to, um, to feed and to just have some peace when I need to think, when I need to process, when I need to just kind of run through what I have before me for the week or the day, be, uh, the next day to come, or even kind of think about what happened, um, earlier in the day or in the past few days. This is one of the places that I come to just think and process. It's quiet. It's peaceful. Um, this morning it's a little chilly. It's about eight degrees outside, but but that's okay. And um, as you can hear the horses munching away, um, they don't talk back to me and they don't give me any lip or roll their eyes as sometimes our teenagers will do. But they love. They love us as long as we love them. And um, I'm sure here in just a few seconds as they finish up their breakfast, you'll see their heads pop into the shot or something along those lines. So I really wanted to talk with you today about finding peace and what does that look like for you? Peace comes in lots of different forms. Some people may say that peace comes from simply taking a walk in the woods. <clears throat> and that's true. Some people may say that peace comes from sitting down and reading a good book. Maybe it's enjoying a nap. Maybe it's um, putting your toes in the sand at the beach. Peace comes in lots of different forms, <clears throat> lots of different ways for lots of different people. And I don't think there's a right or there's a wrong. But the reality is, is when we find that peace, or should I say that peace and quiet, we also find joy. Um, the joy that can come only from Jesus because we have time to reflect on him and to be in relationship with him. We can also find renewal because we all live in a world that is just going 125,000 miles an hour. We are pulled in so many different directions. And you've heard me talk about that before in Sunday morning sermons and even other episodes of the experience. So that's not a new topic. The idea of finding peace, finding joy, finding rest, finding the presence of God. As I come down here this morning and in just a few moments, I'm going to be throwing hay <laughs> and we do things a little bit differently here. Sometimes we use the small squares and sometimes we use the large rounds and we peel it off in layers and we chuck it into their hay bins. So you'll get to, to, to see me all sweaty probably here in just a minute. Um, you know, we fill the water buckets, we pick out their stalls, we give them their morning grain, which is really what they want. I mean, they want that morning, that morning grain more than anything. But in the midst of all of that busyness, and, and it's sometimes hard work, especially when it's so cold outside and, and um, the water might be frozen and buckets are going to be frozen. So when it's freezing cold and it's frigid, you know, that's a lot of work, but it's worth it. It's worth it because one, we can care for these animals, which are God's creatures, but it's also worth it because it gives us a sense of belonging. It gives us a sense of peace. It gives us a sense of doing what is right. It gives us a sense of accomplishment. And it's also that inner joy, that inner joy of just knowing that, that I've accomplished something today. And so I don't know, sometimes, oh, hi, Darby. Yes, this is this is Darby as she's decided to give me a little bit of a kiss this morning. She's finished her breakfast and, and I think that's what relaxes me the most and that's what brings me the most joy about Dean down here is when they return that love and affection. And so I can come here and I can just unwind and I can find some time. So I wanna ask you, how are you unwinding? 
How are you finding time to just be in the presence of God? How are you finding time for renewal in your own life that when you're tired and you're weary, when you're run down, when you're exhausted, when you're arguing with your kids because you've just had a really hard day and they're asking you for, for, one, for one more thing, how are you finding peace in the midst of that? How are you finding renewal and rest? And maybe that comes from the kiss of a horse or a puppy or a kitten or whatever it may be. How are you finding your time to renew? How are you finding your time to regain your strength. Sometimes for us moms, it seems like, you know, we're constantly being asked things like, mom, where's my socks? Mom, where's my car keys? Mom, where's my whatever? Mom, what's for dinner? Mom, what time are we eating? Mom, can I do this? Mom, can I have a friend over? And, whew, sometimes it's just exhausting just listening to all the questions. And so we have to take time. We have to take time to renew ourselves and in order to be able to regenerate because if we are not completely whole and we are not rested ourselves there's no way that we can give to others and that's not just with our children but that's in life in general how can we help others if we ourselves are not being helped if we ourselves are not being strengthened and renewed and so i encourage you i encourage you to find some way whether again is it reading a book is it dipping your toes in the sand is it taking a mini vacation is it hanging out with your animals is it you know pitching muck from a stall what is it that's going to help you find that renewal and find that rest? What is it that's going to help you recharge and regain your energy that you so greatly need in order to be able to face the rest of this day and the next day? So that when your kids do ask you a question, when your kids do say, mom, where's my socks or where's my car keys or I need help with my homework or, you know, can you take me shopping for this? You're not, oh, but you're like, okay, let's go do that. Let's tackle this. And when we're renewed and we're recharged, it helps us to be able to be better people. It helps us to be calm and to answer questions with reflection and maybe not be so snippy or so short. It helps us to really understand the person that's in front of us. It helps us to want to be a good listener. It helps us to want to be in relationship with them. And that's really what we've been created to do is to be individuals who are in a relationship with others. She's not happy that I'm standing here ignoring her. As you can tell, she's trying to get my attention. But we, we are called to be in relationship, whether, whether it's with these beauties or with each other, we are called to be in relationship. So think about those relationships and how can you be whole and complete in those relationships by being recharged and renewed? And what does that look like in your life? What does that look like for you as an individual to be whole and renewed? I pray that you find a way that you find a way to be who God has called you to be, to be renewed, to be strengthened, to be restored. Whether it's hanging out here or on a beach somewhere, take time for yourself. You are the living water, God we thirst for you. The dry and the barren will flower and bloom. Thank you again for joining us. We're so glad that you decided to do so. If you have not yet done so, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel, um, like us on Facebook. We really, really appreciate it. I hope that your family has an amazing weekend.